Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make 3D text in Cinema 4D. I'm going to show you just basic 3D text, and I'm also going to show you uh, the 3D text with the glass effect that it's usually um, called, I guess, whatever. Um, I just call it two colors. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I got Cinema 4D today, and I'm not the best at everything yet. Um, mainly all I know is what I've, uh, you know, I looked online for some tutorials, and I figured I'd just bring you guys some tutorials as well. And also my friend uh, Famous HD has been showing me how to use uh, Cinema 4D because I watch him make intros and stuff. So uh, first of all, you want to do is put in some text. So come up here to the freehand. Uh, just hold it down, and then you can come over here to text. Put in whatever you want the text to be. I'm going to put in game vids because that is uh, what I go by. And then I'm going to... Uh, oh, my bad. I'm going a little too fast. Sorry. Well, then what you want to do is come over here to the font button, click it. And then you can choose whatever font. I'm choosing Babas, Babis. I don't know how to say it, but that's what I use. And as you can see right now, if we render it out, there is nothing. So what we want to do is once we have this, now, now we got to make it 3D. So what you want to do is come up here to the circle with the, well, the square with the circle on it. Hold it and then go to Extrude Nerves right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to Object and we're going to change it from 20 to 80. Now, as you can see, nothing happened. So what you want to do is click your text, hold it, and then drag it up to the extrude nerve so you see a down arrow, and then just let go. And as you can see, now it's 3D, which uh, looks awesome. So if that's, that is actually just the basic 3D, if you wanted it like that, um, this would be good if you were to save it out as a PNG, which I'll show you. And then uh, you can, you know, like put it on Photoshop and make it on your YouTube backgrounds on the sides. Uh, that's what I do, like if you see my channel. Uh, my game vids channel I have a 3d font on the side and it looks really good a lot better than what I could do in Photoshop so then if we render it real quick that's what you get but uh, we're gonna show you the glass effect now so what you want to do is um, go back to the angle of it what you want to do is uh, click extrude nerves hold down control and hit C and then hold down control and hit V and what that's gonna do is it's gonna copy and paste it or you can just come over here to um, edit copy and edit paste. Alright, now what you want to do is click on the ones you just uh, made, the copy and paste, and what you want to do is now we're going to put it in the middle. So you want to change the, right here on object, you want to change the movement, the last one, from make it half. So since we made this 80, which is the thickness, uh, we're going to make it 40, that way it's in half, and as you can see, it's half. And then what we have to do is we got to put it in the middle. So go to coordinates, and then change the Z to just 20 and that will put it almost perfect in the middle if not perfect in the middle and uh, that way you don't have to guess you can just put it in and it's there now what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go to caps right here still in that area on the the one in the middle and then we're gonna start fillet cap and then we're gonna end the fillet cap and then you can change the radius if you want um, I'm gonna keep it 5 but you might want to change it to 10 like so or whatever you know it's all preference you guys can mess with it but yeah <clears throat> so as you can see uh, if we render this this is what it looks like um, we have like a 3d font right here and then we have an outline of it and it looks pretty cool uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it the out the outline glossy and um, like see-through ish kinda like glass and the color so what you wanna do is come down here to your materials area you can go to either file uh, new material or control N or you can just double click and then double click it and then you can edit it and we're gonna click the color of it and we're gonna make it I'm gonna make it a dark green <coughs> and then we're gonna come down here to transparency make sure it's turned on and change it from 100 percent brightness to 20 and then we're gonna do the same with reflection we're gonna turn it on and change the brightness from 100 to 20 percent and then we're just gonna drag that on you can either drag it onto the outside but if it's hard to see what you're actually doing just drag it onto the words right here and as you can see now it turned green <coughs> so right there um, that's pretty much how simple it is to make a uh, 3d text and if you zoom in you can kind of see through it not so much you know you can mess with the things but as you can see you can see through it and it looks pretty good now I'm gonna show you real quick how to save it as a PNG with no background because as you can see the backgrounds black but if you wanted to put this on your uh, you know like your YouTube background or whatever then you wouldn't want a black background so what you want to do is just get the angle you want, uh, you know, just just mess around with the angles you want. I think that looks kind of cool. So we're going to come up here and click the third one right here, and this is going to be our uh, render settings. Go up to uh, general, make sure it's on full render. It should be always there, but just make sure it is. Go to output, and then change the preset to uh, film and video, 
and then uh, HDV HD TV 720 29.97 uh, that's what I save it as you could save it as um, the H the 1080 but I don't have 1080 quality so I just save it as 720 then go to the save option and then you're gonna have to save a name so uh, we're gonna put game vids pick whatever um, change the format from uh, the TIFF to a PNG and then change the depth from uh, 8 bit to 16 bit and then also uh, click right here for the alpha channel and then you can leave the other stuff however and then on the last thing we're going to change is the anti alisi alice alicing i'm not sure how to say it but i changed it from the anti alicing from ge ge geometry to best and then make sure it's on uh, still image and then that's all you have to do um, the other stuff you can keep the same and then all you have to do is click right here uh, you could also go to a uh, render to picture viewer if you want to see it uh, before you save it but I just click it and it'll start rendering it. Uh, it, it it all depends on how fast your computer is or how long it'll take but uh, we'll minimize this and as you can see there is no background right there um, and as you can see right here there's no background there is a white background but that's because that's the background of this so if you put it into Photoshop there would be no background and then also if you want to uh, make it where there's a background um, you know all you have to do is real quick just come up to the light throw in a, a sky for the background throw in a floor um, you might need to move the floor down a little a little bit um, I think change the Y to negative 8 and then your text should be fine yeah uh, you know if you want it to fly then make it fly but yeah and then we're gonna add in a light and then what I like to do with the light now again I'm not the best at this I'm not exactly sure what's better to do or whatever but I just put in a light I throw it to the end and then I pull it up some to like the top of my view and then as you can see it's all lit and then just come over here to the shadow of the light the light like so click light click shadow and then go to shadow change it from none to shadow map soft and then uh, we have some shadows so as soon as I get back on the alignment that I want like so uh, we can render it and then it has a shadow and uh, you know it's kind of like a like uh like you would for an intro I guess if that's what you want to say like so and if you render it looks good uh, now I do not know how to use a camera yet so I will learn that and then I will tell you guys but uh, we're gonna save this out we're gonna save this out we're gonna we're gonna render it out so um go to the options nope go to uh, save change it to whatever you want it to be called so uh game vids pick two I guess save and then we have to change the format to a AVI if you wanted it no my bad PNG I'm sorry that's if you wanted it as a video and then uh, you can just turn off the alpha channel it doesn't really matter just leave it on I guess not a big deal and then I'll make sure it's still on best and all that stuff looks good and then we can just click here and save it And then if we look at the picture, then we have another one, and it actually has the background, uh, which was the sky, and then the floor, and that looks good. So uh, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Um, I'm not that great in Cinema 4D yet, so I'm not really sure. Um, so if it's a you know if it's if it's a tutorial about this, I could probably answer it. Like if it's a question about this, I mean I could probably answer it. Um, but if it's anything else, I'm not sure if I can. But I will try, or I'll try to find someone that can, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.